Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. Welcome to Nat Fashion Hub, the best fashion channel in the world. So today, without wasting time, we're going to learn how to cut a simple short skirt. Yeah, just like the one you're seeing right there. A simple short skirt. So if you are yet to subscribe to my channel, please hit the subscribe button and turn your notification bell on so that whenever I drop my videos, you'll be notified. So the measurement to be using are this. A waist of 24, hip of 36, skirt length of 23 and from the waist to the hip is obviously 8 inches we should know that by now it's a standard the next thing we're going to be using we're going to be using our short roller my ink my tape and my scissors all right so without wasting time let's hit into the class so the first thing is how to fold your fabric when cutting your skirts all right now we're going to consider the biggest measurement on our skirt which is the hip 36 and when you are cutting you divide hip measurement by 4 so 36 divided by 4 that will give you 9 all right so i'm going to fold this paper i'm going to fold it by what by 9 inches plus hemming allowance and our hemming allowance we're going to give one and a half inch all right so nine plus one and a half that is ten and a half so i'm going to fold this paper by what ten and a half inches all right so this is 11 okay let's just leave it at 11 so that we'll have something to cut out when we are doing the cutting all right so let's leave it at 11 so that we'll have something to cut out when we are doing the cutting all right so after folding our fabric by 11 let's ensure that it's very flat Alright, so the next thing we're going to do now is to first of all get the there are four points or three rather three basic lines that you you use to locate to shape your skirt alright and these lines are one the waistline the hip line and the length line let's say plus the hemming allowance all right so for you to get the waistline I, I i always minus mostly minus one half inch from the waist here from the from the beginning of the fabric to get my waistline all right so if you minus half inch from the beginning of the fabric this is now our waistline our waistline okay the next thing is to locate our hip line and our hip line is located eight inches from the waistline so this is from the waistline eight inches downwards this is our hip line okay same thing this is our hip line all right this is the hip line like i said before if you are here to subscribe to my channel please hit the subscribe button and turn your notification bell on so that you always be notified when i drop my videos the next thing we'll locate is the full length of the skirt and the full length of the skirt is 23, all right? So this is 23, plus two inches semen allowance becomes 25, this is 25, all right? So this is 23 and 25. 23 and 25, all right? To so still join these points together. Okay? So this is our hip line, this is the full length, and this is the hemming allowance, alright? The next thing we're going to do now is to apply our measurements to our skirt. So, we say the waist is 28 inches, so when cutting, you divide the waist measurement by 4. So if you divide 28 by 4, you are going to have 7, all right? So this is, this is 7 inches. Please, if you are lost at any point, you are free to drop your questions in the comment section. The next thing we are going to add 1 inch for that allowance. These are 1 inch for that allowance. The next thing we are going to add 1 and half inch seam allowance, all right? So this is one and a half inch seam allowance making what nine and a half so we have our 
skirt waist 28 divided by 4 we have 7 plus that allowance of 1 inch that makes it 8 plus 1 and a half inch seam allowance this is 1 and a half inch now we are using 1 and a half inch seam allowance because we are going to turn this skirt in with lining before the final sewing so the turning in with lining will take half inch allowance so your seam allowance will remain just one inch that's why we're using one and a half so when we come to so let's finish the waist okay so on this waist we have identified our our that allowance to be one inch all right so the next one i'm going to do now is to locate our that area on this skirt okay and our that separation that is from 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 one dart to the other is going to be we are going to be using seven inches so since it's seven inches we're going to divide seven by two because this paper is folded into two all right and it's just for the front piece so whatever we are doing we are dividing so our that now since the dart operation is going to be seven seven divided by two will give us what three and a half all right three and a half this is three and a half here yeah. all right so and we say our dart is going to carry one inch so three and a half here to four and a half that is what that is one inch and the center is what four okay so the the length of our dart is going to be four inches four inches all right that is four so i'm going to mark this center dot here this is four inches i'm going to extend it down here four inches all right so this is where the dart will stop okay and this is our four inches this is our four inches the next thing for us to do is to join this dot to this and this dot to that so i'm going to join this dot to this here and this to this this is how we're going to sew and blend it to stitch and blend it when we're stitching it okay so this is our what our dart on this skirt hope is clear like i said if you are lost or you are confused drop a question in the comment section you know i'll do where to attend to the questions all right so the next thing for us to do now is to locate our hip and we say our hip is 36 36 divided by 4 when you're cutting divide your hip measurement by 4 36 by 4 that is what that is nine, all right. Plus one and a half seam allowance that becomes ten and a half. Okay. So the next thing we are going to do is now to get the the size for our end part of the skirt, we are going to minus one inch from whatever we have at the hip. So the the total of what we have at the hip is what? Let's check. The total here is what? Is ten and a half. All right. Ten and a half. So down here we are going to use nine and a half mind you on this full length line not the hemming allowance line so i'm going to use nine and a half here this is to aid us with the shaping of our skirt all right so i've not done anything here yet very important just watch me so the next thing for us to do now is to join this point to this point join this point to this point all right and of course this point this is our main measurement take note this is seam allowance all right this is seam allowance this is seam allowance so the next is to join this point to this point here I'm using my long rule. So I'll that. All right. And we know that our allowance is what? Our allowance is one and a half inch. So we'll just mark one and a half inch inward here. So this is our original size of the skirt. Now, the next thing we are going to do now at this point, now before I proceed, look at this point here. When you are shaping your skirt, please, this point should not be pointed. 
it must be what curved. Don't make a mistake of cutting this to be pointed here, right? Make sure you blend it. Very important. Let's not shoot out. So the next one I'm going to do here is this. We are going to mark. This is nine and a half, all right? Nine and a half. So I'm going to make it ten inches. Ten inches. Ten. That is plus half inch. And then we're going to do this. See what I've done there. This is our hemming allowance. Now, if you don't do this, if for instance you take this line straight, straight. By the time you want to turn line here, you fold this. It will be short. It will be falling in somewhere like here. It will be short, right? That's why we flay because this line is coming in is flay. So if you don't flay this end part, by the time you are putting your line in this. This when you fold it, okay. This is what I'm saying. I'll show us, okay. When I'm posting, I'll show us. Don't worry, I'll show us. So the next thing now is for us to go ahead and um, cut our skirts. So this is what I'm saying. Supposing we had cut this straight, let's just look at this. Supposing we had cut it straight as we were shaping and coming. Supposing we had cut it straight like this. Hmm? Supposing we had cut it straight. When we when we want to turn our line in, because this is our human allowance, of course it's going to fall this way when we are cutting our line in. By the time we want to apply our line to this skirt, you discover that you have see this, this short that we are having here. It's not reaching the edge, all right. That is why you flay it now. Look at the way I flay it. It has even exceeded it small. We can easily trim it off, all right. So it's very important for you to make sure you flay it out when you get to the ideal length of the skirt. You flay out by what half an inch. The next thing I will do now is to cut our back piece. So for us to get our back piece, already I've identified the hip, the hip lines, the hip line, the waist line. This is the length of the skirt, and that is the human allowance. So for us to cut our back piece, we are going to add one and a half inch seam allowance for zip all right this is one and a half inch seam allowance for zip this is one and a half inch seam allowance for zip all right so we're going to join this point to this point here mind you this is our waist line okay This is our hip line. So after that, the next thing I'm going to do is to identify the skirt is going to carry a slip behind, okay? And the length of our skirt is stopping here. All right. So we are going to major the allowance, the opening allowance for our sleeve. And our sleeve is our sleeve is going to open by a maximum of eight inches. All right. So this is where the sleeve will open and stop. This is where our sleeve we open and do what and stop. All right. So at this point now, we are going to mind you here. It's one and a half inch we use for allowance. Here we are going to use maximum of three quarter inch. All right. This is to give our skate shape. All right. To give the skirt shape so you see i'm going to shape it in shape it in by this allowance all right so at this point here like i said mind you this place should not be straight it should be curved it should not be sharp it should be curved all right so at this point here our slit 
we are going to still give it an opening of we are going to give an opening of two inches from here to the wideness of the opening of our slit is going to be two inches. All right. Now there are, there are different ways of doing a slit. I'll show us all the different ways. Down here too, I'm going to still make it about two inches. I'm still going to make it two inches on the hem allowance line, two inches. All right. So now we can choose to do our slit this way. See two inches all the way down, and it becomes our slit allowance. Or we can choose to make our slit to go slanty, all right, such that it covers very well from up, but it is going down, it opens. So in that case, we can decide to just leave it like one inch here, all right, on the full length line, and we'll slant it in this way. I see that. So our slit is big up here, but coming downwards, it is what? it is reducing its size so like i said before you will not draw this straight down you will not you will not draw it straight down like that no you will flay it out all right i'll see this the same thing we did this side we still apply it here it's only when it's coming straight that you leave it straight once it's slanting inwards when you get to the full length you must slant out Else, when you want to put lining, you will have one or two challenges. And even at the waist here, um, it depends. Now, if your skirt is a fitted skirt, you you might consider shaping the waist. But well, putting elastic by the sides, you might not need to shape it, no problem. But if it's a fitted skirt, you will consider giving it minus a half inch here, you see, and joining this line to the hip line here. That is, if it's a fitted skirt, can you see this? So, which means this allowance you are going to cut it off all right and this allowance you're going to cut it off if we are applying the second formula all right so it is this simple and straightforward and mostly i like this line being being this way i don't like it shooting out that way right so it's as simple as a b c d all right cutting a skirt it's as simple as anything so if this content makes sense if you enjoyed this video Please hit the subscribe button and turn the notification bell on so that whenever I drop my videos, you'll be notified. So let's cut it. So, which are you using? Are we using this or this? Okay, let's just use this inner one, alright? Alright, so. There is something that you can also do to your skirt to give it more shape. Look at the front piece here. You slant half inch in front here and you slant it to the end part of the skirt. So this is this way. Only the front piece, you slant it this way. is for fitting all right more fitting for your skirt so if you enjoyed this video if the content made sense please hit the subscribe button turn the notification bell on so that you always notified whenever i drop my videos thanks for watching welcome to not fashion hub the best fashion channel in the world thank you